Well, friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, I don't know how far this is going to go, but um, I intend to make some videos to teach some issues that um, I write about, wrote about, and by the answers, the often dumb answers by those active on the internet in blogs, in, in forum, or fora, whatever you call it, um, I can see the most that are present there are not serious. They uh, just want their names on the uh, on on the video or whatever, and they you know they waste my time. So I decide to make some videos, especially since um, uh, I, I I came across this um, this video. Um, Hindu attacks on Christians in India, which was put on uh, YouTube by the Voice of the Martyrs USA. And uh, I watched that video, and on that video um, you saw um, uh, the police, I mean um, uh, Hindus um, um, driving forth um, uh, Christian pastors and um, uh, also um, Hindu police, Indian uh, police from India, entering the church building, the church grounds with long sticks and just beating around while they uh, were covered with, uh, with helmets. Um, the video failed to mention what was the reason for Indian police force to enter into the grounds of the church, the Indian church, which looked very well and gave me the impression it was not built by Indian Christians, but by American money. Now, this already is a wrong idea. I do not believe it is of God that Indian Christians should be supported by foreign aid by begging from so-called rich brothers and sisters in the West to build their buildings. Their buildings stand out in such a way that you can see that they were provided by Western money. And this gives a totally wrong impression about the gospel of Jesus Christ and about Christianity. And in this way, I do believe there is cause for those who oppose um, the message of Christ to reject the message of Christ. Or, or well, actually, uh, uh, there are people who accept the message of Christ, so-called, because they think that by doing so, they are getting richer. They will also have such um, richness. And actually, many pastors in India and in Pakistan are guilty of corrupting the message of Christ. Because what they do, they go on the internet, they even go on, on, on free um, uh, websites, especially on free websites, matrimonial websites, and they say what they're doing. I mean, they don't care if it's totally out of uh, line. They introduce themselves and blah, 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 blah. What happens is they want to get invited, tickets paid for everything, everything, to visit Western nations, the Western Christians, the Western church. And by doing so, their authority, their image their, uh, uh, in the church or in their uh, environment, in their area, is growing uh, exponentially. And Western churches and Western Christians, with all good intentions, should not 
accept this. They should not let themselves be abused this way and be exploited this way. They should not, um, they, they, they should discern better what's going on. Because what happens is that these uh, uh, quote-unquote pastors that we know nothing about uh, 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 get invited, get support, and the main thing, the main person in those kind of um, uh, churches or ministries or orphanages is the pastor and his family. They are building at the cost of uh, the Western uh, uh, donations themselves, houses, cars, etc. And this is an abomination in God's sight. It is an exploitation. And Apostle Paul was, say, was also speaking out against those who would follow Christ for money, for profit. And he did say it was a profitable thing, but that's different, that's spiritually spoken. Now, I haven't even started what I wanted to say. But I'm angry with the lack of discernment. And, and, and by the way, let's, 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 let's take this a little further. There are Western aid organizations, non-profit organizations. And they are built upon the needs of people. They exploit the orphans. They exploit the Christians. They exploit whatever needs there are. The Red Cross exploits the needs of people. Look at the salaries of those who lead. These are incredible salaries. They need the pictures of the suffering. They exploit pictures of suffering. They exploit pictures of, 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 of need. Because it brings in a lot of money even from non-believers. And this is an abomination in the face of Christ. I worked for an organization for a short time because uh, I was just looking. So I know what's going on. My heart was for Eastern Europe and Eastern European Christians who were being persecuted uh, for standing up for Christ. And I much rather gave for Bibles into China, uh, communist China, communist Russia and so forth, than for any money for food. Because the whole world will pay money for food. But not the whole world will, 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 will pay money to give Bibles and Christian literature in the hands of the Christians there. And that is far more important. The Word of God. The people were hungry for the Word of God. And it was denied there. Because if the devil can... Uh, uh, well, uh, in communist countries and, in, and, and, and also in Saudi Arabia, he can deny people access... By abuse of the government, he can deny people access to the Word of God physically, totally. Thank God, maybe they can access now through the internet. I don't know. But if he cannot deny, if the devil doesn't succeed in denying people uh, to, to rob them from the Word of God physically... He will do everything to deny people from access to the Word of God, to the true Word of God, uh, in another way. One way that he's doing it in Western uh, uh, Christianity now is by wrong translations, wrong uh, uh, versions of the Bible. And let me say this, the, the publishers know, and this is all the money, and, 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 and keep reminding, keep thinking that the root of all evil is the love of money, not money, the love of money. Money is neutral, but the love of money. And Christian publishers, uh, well, many publishing houses have been taken over by worldly publishers. They do not, all they're interested is in making money. And a new translation of the Bible will give them more money. But what it does is it corrupts the Word of God of its power, because it's wrong translations. It's, I mean, if you have homosexuals translating the Bible involved in that, what, you, what do you expect uh, 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 will happen to those verses that are about homosexuality? Pe 
Okay, I'll, I'll continue this in, in the next video. Thank you.